back. So, oh my gosh. So I'm filming a video and it's gonna be a spooky glow up type of video. I mean, look at my hair. My red is fading. My roots have grown out like inches at this point. So I'm gonna do something that I've never done before and I'm honestly so freaking scared to do it. Um, I'm gonna bleach my hair at home. Is this a good idea? I don't know. Is it gonna turn out well? I hope so. But so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I want to, so I'm gonna re-bleach my red and I'm going to bleach half of my bangs. So I, I think I should cut my bangs first because I don't know where to start. And usually I would get them wet to cut them, but we're just gonna wing it. <laughs> we can't get our hair wet before we bleach it. I'm probably gonna leave the bleach in for about 30 to 45 minutes. It's <laughs> a lot of hair. That's cute. See, that wasn't that bad. Okay, cool. So now, um, I'm still gonna cut my hair some more. Sorry, I keep looking at my... I'm sorry about the lighting being ugly. I need to use my front camera. I usually use my back camera for filming, but we need to use the front camera this for this video. And it sucks, I know. <laughs> I'm gonna lose a lot of hair in this part um, because I'm about to brush it. I haven't, I didn't brush it all day yesterday because all day yesterday I was busy, didn't even clean, but I didn't want to wash my hair, ouch. I didn't want to wash my hair yesterday because I knew I was going to color it and bleach it and it just works better on dirty hair. Okay, so this is all, you see the difference? Okay, so now that our hair is fully brushed out, I'm going to separate the black from the red. Um, that's going to be hard but I have my little teasing comb and it has like a little point. So that's what I'm gonna use. I'm so glad I don't have a lot to bleach. <laughs> I'm so glad, cause I'm, I'm also gonna re-dye my red hair. So I bought, what I bought for that was a good dye young semi-permanent hair color. I usually use permanent. Um, They didn't have that at Sally's though. So this is by Haley Williams. Um, she's a singer Paramore. She has her own um, hair dyeing brand. And this is in the shade Rock Lobster. I love that. And then for the black, I'm using this one. Um, I use this one all the time and it's the only one that's ever lasted a long time on my hair. Okay. I'm going to do my bangs real quick because they're too oily right now and I need to know exactly what I'm bleaching. Okay, so now that we have our bangs good, I'm gonna try and find my metal part because I don't have one. Okay, so I'm just gonna finish separating what I wanna bleach and then I'll be right back. Okay y'all, so I am looking crazy. <laughs> But this is basically everything I'm going to re-bleach that has red in it and half of my fringe. So, or not fringe, but my bangs. Whatever, you know what I mean. I'm so fucking scared. Oh my God. Um, this is the bleach that I'm using. <clears throat> this is what it looks like. Uh, this is what she recommended to me. I told her I've never bleached, <clears throat> I've never bleached my hair before. It doesn't come with a scoop. That came with scoop. So I'm using a 20 developer. That's what she gave me. Uh, this is the one that I'm using. Okay, so I got a scoop. Um, I got one tablespoon scoop. So I'm hoping this is enough. It's one scoop of powder to two scoops of developer. So I'm just gonna use this to mix. Okay, so this is what we have this much. So I'm gonna put on my gloves. Um, one thing I did learn is that you're not supposed to start on your roots. There's a lot of people that start on their roots. Um, 
what I heard is that when you do that, you get what is called hot roots. And that's when your roots die, like they end up dying that uh, orangey yellow mustard color and it's all gross and shit. Yeah, that's hot roots. <laughs> you don't wanna dye your hair like that. So I'm gonna start from the bottom up and then leave my hair for maybe 30 minutes, check it, and if not, 45 minutes. That's what the little thingy says, so that's what we're gonna do. I forgot to buy a little brush, so. We shall use our fingers. I'm scared! I've never bleached my hair. Okay, son, you're a bad bitch. You're a bad bitch. You got this. So this might be enough. Thank gosh. I don't know yet though. I'll be back when I've already washed this out and we're gonna start dyeing our hair. See you in a bit. Okay, you guys, so this is what I got. Um, I just wanted it to be a very light red. As you can see, I got hot roots either way. My roots didn't, I mean, they, it's kind of splotchy but I don't mind because it's going underneath my hair. So I don't care. So we're gonna do the red last. Yeah, we're gonna do the red last. This is the good dye young, I threw the box away. But we're gonna go ahead and start on the black. I forgot, I was supposed to mix this in with my lightener. <laughs> it's just to help boost, it helps strengthen, smooth and restore moisture. She said that I could mix it in with the color, but the color comes in a tube. It's not like your regular ion color that you have to mix it with the developer. So what I'm gonna do instead, I'm gonna mix it with this. So this is the color cream. This is what it comes in. Then you have this, it's the conditioner, which I already have this conditioner as well, but, oh. Okay, so this is a mask, just kidding. This is my dye my hair dye shirt, so it is torn. It has been beat to shit, but it's okay. This is a pre-color serum that I apply everywhere, which I'm gonna apply everywhere. Um, you apply it on the dry ends of your hair. So I usually apply it like from the middle down and it usually ends up helping. And then all well, the developer lotion is here in the bottle. I'm going to mix these two, the color in the developer, before adding the ion which is supposed to help restore moisture and just strengthen my hair. And just overall give a very smooth application. Again, don't mind the tears. I've had this shirt for ages. Oh, and I just use it to dye my hair because I don't care about this shirt. <laughs> oh, my hair does feel so smooth. That mask works wonders. And honestly, that, that bleach really didn't, maybe I didn't use enough. I could have used more, I feel like. But either way, I feel like I got a good color, especially my bangs. Like, I feel like they're still gonna come out red. I don't know how red they're gonna come out, but I don't care, as long as they're red. Like, look how much hair I have. This looks gross compared to the black. My hair is so pretty and wavy. Oh, we're gonna cut it though. Not super short, not, I don't want any length, but I want more layers, but yeah. I like to put this from the middle part of my hair down because those are the driest parts of anyone's hair is usually the bottom. By the way, if you're wondering what mask I have, I'm using the Ola Hendrickson Cold Plunge Pore Mask because the amount of texture I have here, like when I exfoliated my face in the shower and I came out, I was able to see all the bumps and the redness and I was like, oh my God. <laughs> so I put on the mask, put the top on and you shake. So I'm taking off the little gloves they give you. And I'm just, okay. So I have like a trash bag here because I didn't want to get my stuff dirty because we're renting this place. Um, I'm going to use this to really get in here and just comb out the dye instead of getting it, like doing it with my fingers. Hopefully that'll work. I don't know. So I've done this a million and one time, so 
Dyeing my hair is not the problem. Bleaching my hair was scary. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the back first. I like to make sure that this is fully saturated before I move on to the next side. So I'm going to finish my black hair and then I'll come and show you how I dye my red hair. Okay guys, so the black is marinating. Now we're going to do the red. Well, let's take this out of the little braid. and put. It's already really soft, but I still want to put that serum that I did on my black hair. It's so soft. Oh, I swear. Buy that heritage mask. I know what I'm telling you. It works. I cut some black on this one. Do you see it? Oh my gosh. I didn't mean to. I need more on my ends. You know a movie I feel like seeing? Um, for all my millennials, did you all see the movie when you were little called Beverly Hills Troop? Or Troop Beverly Hills? I love that movie. Even today, like I'll still see it and it'll just remind me of my childhood. Like I look crazy. I look crazy. Now we're gonna go in with this and the shade Rock Lobster. I love that. I'm so excited. Okay, okay, okay. So I'm gonna do my bangs first. With hair dye, I really don't. Look how red this is. Haley Williams. Ooh. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Fuck it, I'm gonna get the... I really want this saturated because I want nothing, no, like, nasty bleached hair peeking through. I like to use permanent dye on my hair, but they only had semi-permanent for the red dye. I just took a shower and I'm gonna have to take another one. My poor skin. For 45 minutes, we are gonna let this just marinate. Put that in a little claw clip. There you go, guys. <laughs> I know I look crazy, but it's okay. It's just for right now. Okay, guys, so I'm gonna let this develop um, for about 45 minutes. I'm gonna go do some work, call beads, and then I'll be back when everything is dried. Actually, I'll come back when I have my washed hair. That way I can show you how I cut it and then we'll style it together. Oh be right back. Look. Like, it actually worked. <gasps> Bitches. I'm excited. So, now we're gonna cut my hair. Oh my god. Can you? Ah! I'm so happy. I'm so happy that my hair didn't fall out. No, I like cutting my hair wet. And then when it's dry, oh my god, I can't get over it, I'm sorry. Then when it's dry, I like to uh, go back and you know cut some more if I need to, but usually I never need to. <gasps> Y'all, like, this red bang. I did that. I did that. <laughs> uh, let me put my hair in a ponytail. Okay, so what I, uh, crazy, I know. So I pulled my hair up into the highest pony ever. You wanna make sure you have no bumps and it, your hair is wet. You don't ever wanna cut your hair dry. So that's what I did. And we're doing the wolf cut, if you didn't already know. I don't know if I mentioned that, but I got these shears at Sally's and I'm cutting like three inches. I'm so nervous. That's like three to four inches. So I'm going to cut it in half. Hello. And then I'm going to cut them like this because I want them to be even. And I have a lot of hair. It's not thick, but I have a lot. Like this is a lot. And I'm going to cut going up. I'm not going to do this. Damn, that's a lot of hair. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go with this. So much easier. Oh, 
how is that supposed to happen? Okay, and then I like to go in and cut it like this. Like that. And you're not cutting any length off. What we're doing, oh my God, the difference, bruh. The difference. You're not cutting any length off. What you're doing is making layers to frame your face. So we're gonna do the same thing. I don't know if y'all can tell, but I gave myself a lot of layers, which is nice. So now from the ear forward, I'm going to Yeah, I'm just doing that. Just like going down and like moving slightly. Okay, so I'm also gonna take behind the ear, from my middle part behind the ear, I'm gonna bring it back. Oh, I'm nervous. I'm following the tutorial as I'm filming this from David, no, what's his name, something? I don't know. Where are my scissors? Oh. I'll link this video down below and I'm hoping that it comes out. Look at all these layers. Ooh, so pretty. I do want to cut these a little bit shorter. Just, oh, actually, no, I don't think I have to. Never mind. So now we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Yeah, that's basically our hair. Is this how you're supposed to cut your hair? I don't know, but we'll see when it dries. <laughs> I feel like my bangs aren't thick enough. I don't want them just all like this. I want them to go like this. And now we're gonna blow dry. Okay, so now that I have my bangs, I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my hair and then I'll come back. <laughs> 